My name's Jacob, you are joining Demon TV here at Handmade Festival. We're at the Cookie in Leicester and I'm joined by Chris. Hello, how are you doing? Hello mate, how are you doing? I'm not bad, thank you, not bad. You are from Do Nothing, aren't Certainly you? Certainly am. Yeah. But what's your, like, your style of music? Uh, sort of um, post-punk kind of stuff at the okay, moment, yeah. but it's got like some danciness to it, mm -hmm. like LCD sound system kind of yeah. stuff. Uh, we used to be a lot more like ambient than we are now, but at the minute mm -hmm. we're sort of... Um, Smashing the post punk thing that's very yeah. trendy. Oh, moment. okay, yeah, fancy, fancy. So, what we're going to do is start off a bit of an icebreaker with like, because we always find that in these interviews, okay. everyone just goes mm, right. and doesn't give us any answers. Ah. So, our favorite question from one of our interviewers that we have at Demon TV, he's called Joe. He always asks, um, Would you rather be a jellyfish randomly for three minutes yeah. a day? Or would you rather be a jellyfish for three hours, but you know exactly what time it's going to be? And it happens every single day. Oh, it still happens every day. Yeah. So it's uh, like you can have your three, you're like your three hours, but you can be at home at night. Surprise jellyfish. Um, <laughs> I would be, I would, uh, oh, Joe, that's a tough one. I'd be, I'd probably be the random jelly. The random jelly. I would have thought. Just because okay, like, yeah. three hours is a big chunk of time. And I don't True. get up till very late. <laughs> yeah, so but you might be asleep when it happens. You could decide to be asleep. Well, you're technically not really tr conscious when you're a jelly, are you? Because they're not even... Ooh, are they even alive? <laughs> <laughs> no, genuinely. I don't <laughs> know if they alive. are actually alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, Comment down below if you know whether they're alive okay, yes, or not. Please do. I don't think they have brains, jellyfish. Do they not have brains? No, so you I'm basically die for three hours a day. <sighs> if that, you, kind of, that sounds like a good sleep, though, let's be honest. Right to me. Nice old sleep for that, isn't it? Right, so you are in Leicester for Handmade Festival. How are you finding Leicester so far? Literally just arrived, actually. Just <laughs> um, but we've been to this festival a few times. We haven't played, have we played it before? I don't think we've played it before, but mm -hmm. we've had friends who've played it and uh, we've sort of come as on guest list and stuff. And um, with a band called Kugul, mm -hmm. who I, I live with, one of the guys from Kugul, and uh, they've played a few times and it's a great festival. It's Because this year, it's it, cause it used to just be at O2 Academy, didn't it? Yeah and maybe that Attenborough thingy close by. Uh, but now it's sort of moved to, it's expanding to the cookie and such places, <laughs> which is where we're playing tonight. All over the place now. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is cool. It it's is. cool and sort of, uh, it's good to get other venues involved. Mm -hmm. it's it's like, I think it's like this festival is really good because it showcases a lot of local talent, yeah. which like a lot of the big festivals don't necessarily yeah, exactly. showcase. Yeah, yeah, city festivals sort of like this are always a good, mm -hmm. good day out. They are, they are. So what can fans expect from yourself at the festival? I don't know. It's a, it's like a relatively upbeat set, kind mm -hmm. of. Bit of shouting. Oh, I love a bit of that. I'll probably be hammered. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Gotta love that. I love a hammered set sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I didn't used to do it. So I used to be sort of sober singing, mm. man. And now I just get wasted. Yeah, I mean... It's well, not wasted. But like enough that you can know, still know the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, what's been your favourite venue that you've ever performed in? Oh. Like so far huh. well there are sort of there are the ones back home that you're that you used to play in mm -hmm. so like uh, we're really familiar with the bodega in Nottingham because two of us actually yeah. work there like DJ there or work behind the bar and so like when we play there we know it's going to go alright because mm -hmm. we're used to it and then there's the chameleon in Nottingham which is like a little independent one which is just brilliant Yeah. so I got like a it's like a tiny room upstairs and it's down an alleyway and you don't even doesn't even look mm -hmm. like you're going anywhere and it's like yeah it's a really good place and the sound system's amazing and the sound guy like lives there i'm pretty sure he lives there <laughs> he's and, just um, in a cubby hole yeah he lives yeah, behind yeah. the desk in a little cave <laughs> but um so those are like the the home ones and then we did some shows in um in denmark with a band called baby in vain okay yeah uh, and our guitarist casper he's danish as well mm -hmm. so we all got along very yeah. well. Is, um, there, is there like a huge difference then between like British audiences and, and yeah, and like Danish ones then? Yes, Danish crowds clap for a long time. <laughs> British <laughs> people it? clap for the least amount yeah. of time that they can. Yeah, possibly we're like clap. The least amount of awkwardness possible. Yeah, like clapping. Yeah, yeah, kind of like Danish people just sort of are nicer. <laughs> generally, <laughs> I would have thought. Oh, we're not nice folks, generally. Uh, true, if we don't like something, we're very much quite straight to the point of like, oh, yeah. straight out. But they just clap and they just keep clapping for this, 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 this sort of accepted amount of time mm -hmm. that you clap for, it's just different. 
which makes you feel better when you're over there. They're like, yeah. and, and they're very accommodating in terms of um, looking after bands and stuff. Yeah. I remember when we were over there, we had like sort of a beer tap like behind backstage and stuff, and like it was just mental. It was so very nice. So what do you, what do you have on your rider then when you when you go to like these? Oh uh, well, we don't say oh we're off to Denmark. We'll get whatever we want. <laughs> Let's ask for everything. But uh, you just, you don't know, they just seem to look after you pretty well. They look after you great here as well. But. Yeah, 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 it's good. So what's your sav- favourite song that you've liked to perform at the minute? Uh, favourite songs to do in the set? Um, there are two, kind of. There are two sort of newer ones that mm-hmm. are like a, a bit more, they've got a bit more of a disco thing to them. And I just sort of shout the whole time. And... There's one called Gangs, mm-hmm. which is a single. It's going to be a single. It's coming out next week, next Wednesday. Okay. 8th of May, I think. Uh, yeah. And there'll be a video for that and everything. So that's the one I'm meant to mm-hmm. plug. Um, <laughs> but then uh, there's one called LeBron James as well, which will be a mm-hmm. single sometime in the future, which has a similar vibe. Yeah. But those are the, mo- the most fun ones where you can kind of just yell and mess yeah. about a bit. Have a bit of fun with it. Yeah. yeah. So... It's like a lot of artists at the minute are doing a lot of team up. So uh, you've got, especially in like the pop world, there's a lot of people going with like trying to get with like yeah, big yeah. names just to try and get themselves out there. And I, it, I don't think it needs to happen for a lot of artists. Is there anybody you're wanting? What do you mean you don't? What do you mean? I think a lot of artists is like they they obviously go for like the one that's going to get the most amount of sales. Right. Like and our team up with an artist who's going to give them sales. Mm. And I think it shouldn't be like that. It should be what like you, you team up with like? an artist that because yeah. you want to work with them. Well, that's all behind the scenes label yeah. stuff, isn't it? Yeah. That's all you know. That's all the men who hold pull the strings <laughs> doing that. Is there anybody that you want to specifically team up with at all? I've never thought about it. I don't know if anybody would want to team up mm. with us. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Probably like if you're gonna team up with somebody to do a track in the, in this theoretical world, like it, I would want to do it with somebody completely that I wouldn't you wouldn't expect us to go with, like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> and it would be I, that that'd be a good disaster. Yeah, or like somebody <laughs> like really poppy. Like that 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 could like. That means that there's more chance for the song to be weird and mm-hmm. different and cool, I guess. But obviously, like, we're not going to team up with material. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, somebody, somebody incredibly famous mm. I'd like to team up with because that'd be more fun. So your next track's definitely going to be "Do Nothing" 100%. featuring Nicki Minaj. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> love that. Right. Absolutely love that. So, uh, have you got any more festivals or gigs coming up over the summer that you're going to be performing at? Yeah, uh, we've got a bunch. So this um, this week. It's next week. Next weekend, we're doing Great Escape mm-hmm. down in Brighton, and then a couple of days after that, we're doing a, a gig in Bristol for like a, a friend's charity thing. Because yeah. there's a the, the person who does our artwork is called Steph Dutton, and she does uh, stuff down in Bristol. And I think we're doing it for an MS charity, so that'd be cool. Okay. And then a couple of days after that is Dot to Dot in yeah. around the three Nottingham, mm-hmm. Bristol, and Manchester. I think. So those are the ones in the uh, on the horizon. Okay, cool, cool, great. So just a few quick fire questions, which we're going to throw in at the end. Okay. Literally for this, do not think more than like, a few seconds. It's the first time whatever this. comes I to your head. I've seen this done on interviews. Yeah. And I've never done it. Right. So firstly, here, let's go. Can you describe the colour orange? Nobody can describe the colour. orange. <laughs> Love that, absolutely love that. <laughs> but, but how would you describe it though? It's like I if anybody quick wants fire, to do it. I'm, I'm literally so intrigued now with like, how right. people describe it because every time someone just gives, um, yeah, because no, is, what, there is no answer to that, is there? I mean, it's true, fair enough. You can't describe fair a colour, you can just say what things are <laughs> that colour. That's orange over there, you can't see that. What are you most scared of? The sea. The sea? The sea. Okay. I'm terrified yeah. of the sea, I like open water mm-hmm. sea. Things grab you. <laughs> a bit like that. a kraken out of the yeah. parts of the Caribbean yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Or like something that exists. Like a shark or okay. a jellyfish. Fair enough. Or jellyfish again, yeah, yeah. Don't know how you'll cope then being the jellyfish yeah, of three hours yeah, a day. Right. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Thank you Sorry. so much. Uh, where can people find you on social medias? Uh, we're on Spotify, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Instagram. All of it. All do of nothing. It. Yeah, do nothing. Or it's usually the band Do Nothing because Do, do nothing. nothing was taken. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thanks, Thank you.